Hey everybody, we're back with some more Plane Mechanics Simulator. Uh, today we've got, uh, it just says check the undercarriage and refuel the aircraft. I don't really know what's all involved with checking the undercarriage. I assume the landing gear and some of the other crap that's underneath the airplane, I guess. But uh, we're going to start with refueling it. We might as well. And uh, we'll get that... Uh, out of the way here because that's usually kind of tedious oops okay and then we need this thing up here let's take the fuel cap off we don't want to forget to put that back on either <laughs> All right, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and go to the controls here and slap this stuff in there. Turn the valve here. All right, it's full. That's all we need. Oops, dang, I always do that. Right click, there we go. All right, now we can just take the, uh, the nozzle out of there. And we'll put the... Uh, uh, fuel cap back on before we forget. Alright. Put this back up here. There they go. There he goes. <laughs> uh, Alright, and then we can move this uh, ladder out the way. I don't think we'll need this anymore over here. So to check the undercarriage, I don't know, I guess, I'm assuming they're talking about the wheels and tires and stuff. Uh, we should be able to maybe inspect some of this stuff, hopefully. I'm not, I think this is how you're supposed to do it. Fine. See, the wheel is damaged. That one's fine. So, I mean, you know, th that's kind of how you're supposed to do it, I think. And then there's a little tiny wheel in the back. But in order to fix that wheel, we have to, uh jack up the freaking front of the airplane which is a nightmare in this damn game so we bring this jack over here then we gotta place it down underneath and then you're supposed to grab this thing and like twist the spin the mouse around but it's a doesn't really work that well huh huh come on baby get up there all right, I think the wheels are off the ground now. So if we get down in here, we should be able to take this stuff off. Yep. So we'll take these apart. We'll inspect everything, see what's going on. Let's take the wheel off. Maybe the... Oh, uh, you can't really do anything with the axle, I guess. Um... So now we can just jam over to the other side and take this side off. We know this side was bad because we checked it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can check a lot of this stuff. See, all this stuff is fine. Can't check the other side. Looks like I'm too far away. So yeah, I mean, I think that's how you're really supposed to do it, is just kind of go over the aircraft, inspect it, and then go from there. But I really don't know what else we're supposed to be uh, taking care of at the moment. Uh, we can go to the back of the aircraft and take a look at the rear landing gear section. And kind of, uh, whoops, kind of make sure it's okay. Maybe we can check it out as well I don't think there is anything to check back here it looks like so oh see that's bad so we're probably gonna have to take that off as well Go ahead and pull this off. I 
don't know if there's anything else I can click on down here anyways, so that's probably about it, unless that little landing gear in the back is bad. But it didn't seem to want to let me uh, click on anything back here that I could tell. So... Oh, there we go. Tail skid. Yep, it's damaged. Jeez. So... Don't know how we take that off. Do I don't know if we gotta jack up the back of the airplane or what the heck is going on. That's probably what we gotta do. So we'll finish up the front and then we'll go to the back and we'll check that out. See what's going on back there in the back. Uh, but I don't know if we can repair any of this stuff. Probably not. Nope. So we'll just go up to the uh, repair truck here. Or the parts truck actually. Uh, so right now we got a wheel and the right compression leg there. So uh, we need that. Sign that crap. Alright, we'll reassemble the front here. And then we'll check out the rear a little bit because we obviously have a problem with the little rear landing peg. Move over to the other side here. We'll put this one on. It's going pretty smooth so far. I'm still trying to get the hang of this game a little bit. But it's getting better and better. Plus, I don't know a whole lot about airplanes. So, you know, I'm still kind of like flying literally by the seat of my pants. <laughs> so, uh, I think we can drop this baby down now. Front because that's about it and uh, we'll move it to the back would you god this is so annoying I wish you just had to click it or something you gotta like I mean if you could rotate your mouse just right it would probably work there we go we'll take the jack out now uh, I think we can move it back here to the back or something more than likely I don't know how you jack up the rear of the aircraft I don't know how you're supposed to take the little tail skid off. If you can't jack up the back of the aircraft. I don't really know what's going on here. Uh, but we'll just set this down right here. And we'll take a look at the, ta the tail shaft. Anyways. Oh, is it this right here? Oh, there we go. It's a different jack. Alright, I figured it out. There we go. So now we can probably take that out of there. It's got a ton of bolts. I wonder if we can repair this on the bench or we'll have to just get a new one because I'll try and fix it if I can. I need to get better at the repairing, but. I mean, you don't really seem to have any, like, money or anything in this game, just because you, like, you know, you're technically working for the military, I guess, or whatever, but... Uh, no, we can't repair that either, so we'll just go get one here. Tail skid. Select one, we'll sign it, just like we always do, and then we'll slap it back on, and hopefully we'll be done with this uh, job here. Shouldn't be too bad. So if we go to there we go. Now it's all clean and fresh, guys. No more rust. That's it. We checked the undercarriage, man. There we go back together. Now we'll take this jack out of here. Why not? Set that baby down. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that should do it for this job. Yeah. 
So if we take a look at this, everything's checked off. We can sign it, which is a good sign. Bam. Wheel cap? What? I don't know what that means. Not all parts properly screwed in. Some parts may get damaged. Wheel cap. What? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright, we're just going to jump right into the next job here. Uh, we'll take a look at the repair order. Uh, it says, uh, while, while practicing navigation overseas, we've run into a lone German fighter, probably a scout. Luckily, our hurricanes chased him off, but he managed to hit us a few times. Oh, damn. So it looks like we're going to be repairing some bullet holes. That's going to be pretty sweet. I've never done that before in this game. Uh, so I'm curious to check that out and refill the aircraft as usual. So we'll probably just start by uh, refueling the aircraft. We might as well get that out the way. I kind of just like to do that first for some reason. Gets the truck out of there too. But we'll set that down and then we'll uh, grab this hose. Same procedure. I don't know, sorry guys, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get some, some better plain content coming. I know some of these episodes are probably kind of boring for some of you guys, but uh, I don't know, you guys got to let me know what you think of the videos, you know. If you don't let me know, I'm just going to keep making crap. If you guys don't want to see this crap, then I'll play something else, you know. <laughs> but uh, just uh, hit me up in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think of Plain Mechanic Simulator. And hit that subscribe button, guys. Damn, hit that shit, you know. All right, let's put this hose away. And then I believe we will try and put this cap back on before we forget. There we go. It's good to go. All right, we'll set this hose back up here. There they go. Peace out, dude. See you next time. Alright, let's get the ladder. Let's move it out the freaking way. Alright, let's take a look at these here bullet holes. I don't know what exactly we got to do to repair these, but damn, she's kind of shot up. You can see there's two here on this wing. Um, oh, okay. You just need to apply the patch. Switch to install mode and click on the patch. Alright, let's do it. In aircraft, uh, metal skin, you also need to rivet the patch in place. In this case, however, patches are glued on. Oh, okay, cool. Pretty neat. Alright, let's take care of this one then. That's pretty interesting. So that'd be cool to rivet the panels back on. That's pretty sick. Can't wait to do some of that stuff. Oops. I always press the wrong damn thing. Come on. There we go. Alright, I think there's one more on the other wing. I don't know if there's any other holes on the plane. It will probably let us know after we fix this other one up. But it's not, this wasn't too, it was pretty easy. I mean, dang. Uh, so let's do it here. Take that off. Patch it up. Yep, that's it. That's it for that job, guys. Pretty simple. Pretty simple job. Not bad at all. So if we take a look at the repair order, we got all of it done. Uh, let's go ahead and sign this crap off. Hopefully we got a perfect job this time. Alright. Come on, baby. Level me up. Yes. Awesome. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue. I don't know what the next job is, but... Oh! See? This I've never seen before. So now we get some skill points, huh? The assistant allows you to automatically remove two screws at a time. Aha! So that's pretty cool. Maintenance specialist with maintenance knowledge knowing... About individual parts. On-site repairs will be much easier now. Interesting. 
e early start. You convince the pilot to fill out his report faster than others so that you have more or so you, so you have five more minutes to work on the aircraft. That doesn't really matter for me because I have the freaking time limit crap turned off because I just, you know, I mean, I ain't worried about like trying to rush through it. Plus, I'm trying to make videos. Uh, so that's not really a huge deal for me. Anyways, so I think we'll do the two screws at a time. Or maybe one of these. Um, good perception combined with detailed knowledge of the aircraft systems allows you to spot faults twice as fast as the other mechanics. Huh. Interesting. I still think we're going to go with the freaking two screw thing, whatever this is. Yeah, let's let's do that. And then oh I I got two skill points. What? Dang. Um So this is probably three screws, four screws, and then five, you know, whatever. Okay. I get it now. Um I'm I don't know. I think I'll just go with this. Why not? We'll just go down the line. Confirm. Or do I still got one more? I still got one more? No way. Alright, let's do one of these then. Valve system specialists. Huh. Neat. Yeah, let's go ahead and do one of these. Why not? Well, guys, that's probably going to do it for this episode. Um, we'll be taking a look at the next repair order. In the next episode of Plane Mechanic Simulator. So hit that like button, guys, if you like this episode of Plane Mechanic Simulator. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think of this game. Uh, if you want me to keep doing some episodes on it, I will. Um, just let me know. But uh, hit that subscribe, guys. And we'll see you in the next episode of Plane Mechanic Simulator very soon. Peace out.